Pastor Zhu Education Center, learning about one of my favorite animals, the owls. These are great horned owls. Yes. Heather Rivera here, the education specialist, is going to tell us more about this guy who is adorable. He's gorgeous. <laughs> Hi, this is Archimedes, and he's a great horned owl. Um, he's been here at the El Paso Zoo for about a year and a half. He actually came to us through a rehab program. He did come to us with an injury, and so the doctors did discover that he does have almost complete vision loss. So he's a very special guest here that we have here at the zoo, and just one of many birds that we work with here at the El Paso Zoo. So tell me why they're called uh, great horned owls. I mean, I, I wanted to point out, you know, their horns yeah. that are and actually feathers. <laughs> yeah, those little, those little feathers, those little ear tufts are, are what give them that name. And a lot of people think those are their ears. And their ears are actually behind their eye sockets. So those are just little feathers that do stick up. He's on high alert right now, as you can see. And that is the reason that they are called a great horned owl. And this is a bird that you do find here in the El Paso area. A lot of birders do see them up in their trees. And um, you know, if you have rodents in your in your area, if you have any any of those pest type animals, then this is a solution to that. Having these birds of prey flying around, being able to catch some of those types of animals. Now, um, he's he's blind, but yes. most owls see very well. How how? Wow, do they actually see? They can see eight to ten times better than we can. So the way I like to, uh, a little game that we play, uh, we can play with the kids here at the zoo when they come and visit is you put something out and, uh, you know, something maybe like a, a spool of a thread and then you walk away from it. Once you can stop, you don't see it anymore with your eyes, then you measure that. And then that, you multiply it times eight. So that's how eight or ten that, you know, that would be how far one of these birds can see. So they can see, and they can see really well at night. So that's their, their thing. They also do have very soft feathers, so they're very silent in flight. Hey Heather, thank you so much for <laughs> thank working you. him out and letting us admire him. He's gorgeous. He is. So you can find out more information about these great horned owls and other animals here at the El Paso Zoo Education Center by going to our website, kdsn.com.